In this video, I'm going to show you the best theme for a learning management system. I'm going to show you how to use it. I'm going to show you how I'm using it on my website. And I'm so excited about this new integration that was added. I think you're going to love it. It's going to make things so much easier. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorial videos for non-techies. If you're new here, consider clicking on that subscribe button and YouTube will let you know when I have new videos. Everything I talk to will be linked in the video description down below. Now in 2016 and 2017 and coming up in 2018, I've released every year an entire video series on YouTube on how to create an online course. And each year I learn from the prior year and always striving to make it easier and easier and easier. And I know this year I am going to nail it. Now that video is going to be out in about 10 days or so, but this is going to kind of give you a glimpse into what that full tutorial is going to be. And this video is perfect for anyone that has gone through one of my prior year's video series. So I'm talking about the Astra theme and they recently added integration for Lyft or LMS. Now they're also going to be adding integration for other learning management systems as well. But the first one that they are doing it on was Lifter LMS, which is right here. And it just so happens to be the learning management system that I've used in those prior video series. So in this video, I'm going to show you all of the new integrations and reasons why the free version of Astra is perfect for your learning management system website. Then I'm going to show you some of the pro options as well. It is going to be a longer video. Thank goodness with YouTube, you can increase the playback speed. So if you want to increase it to a 1.5 or maybe a 2.0, if you can handle that, uh, go ahead and do that now. Uh, but every minute of this video is going to be very valuable and perfect. If you're in the market for a learning management system and a theme to power that, or if you have followed any of my courses in the prior years. So let's just jump right on into it. So let's take a look at what the best learning management system theme is for WordPress. But before we get into the video, I just want to give a quick overview of what we're going to go over in this video. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare some of the various themes. And now what I'm actually comparing is the style. So what we're after is the most painless way possible to have a ready to go learning management system from a style and functionality standpoint. So we're going to see what it, what this learning management system is going to look like in these various themes. And then we're going to talk about a really cool plugin that's going to allow you to show a custom sales page for your courses. We're going to take a look at that. We're going to briefly talk about something called Astra Sites and what's to come with that. And then we're going to talk about how to switch to the Astra theme if you're using a different theme. And then we're going to go over some of the pro options. Now, prior to this point in the video, we're going to just go over what comes for in the free version of Astra, not even requiring a purchase of Astra Pro. But there are some additional features in Astra Pro that we are going to go over. And then I'm just going to try to demonstrate those pro options. And so that's what we're going to go over in this video. Okay, so here I am logged into a WordPress installation and I have the default theme running and I have Lifter LMS already installed and I'm using just the demo course that it comes with. And so this is how Lifter LMS is going to look in the default WordPress theme right here. And you can see I have my syllabus here and here is the longer format of the syllabus and you can see it looks fine but it's not really on brand it's not there's no real easy options to change the colors and the styling uh, so this is what that looks like and here is what the checkout page looks like so there it is it's showing the blue so now what I want to do is I want to go to the themes here and activate 
generate press. Now, if you saw my how to create an online course version for 2017, it was based on the generate press theme. And so uh, in the course of the video series, it required a lot of custom CSS to be added to the site in order just to get the lifter LMS part looking good. So I'm gonna activate this, but it's only gonna show you what it looks like by default. Now I'm not picking on Generate Press, it's a great theme. I am just demonstrating it here. I could have just picked any popular theme. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and click on the refresh button here and we can see how it looks. So it looks pretty much the same. It's just wider and in these categories. And by default, Generate Press doesn't work with the Lifter LMS sidebar system. You have to modify, put in a little snippet of code in order to get it working. Here's the checkout page. I'll do a refresh and you can see uh, this is what it looks like here. So this is without any customizations or anything like that. These are what it looks like. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna activate the free Astra theme that you can download in the WordPress theme directory. I'm gonna just go ahead and click on activate here and then I'll just do a quick refresh right here and we can see how it looks. So this looks pretty good. Um, now you notice the colors changed and that's because it now is in line with the colors of the theme. And you can see how the colors just automatically matched the default color set in the theme. This is something you don't get out of any other theme pretty much this integration with the colors. And you can see we have a different look here to the syllabus. It's been kind of condensed a bit, which I particularly like. And you can see that. And we have this perfect styling and integration with the sidebar. You can see how it's showing the lessons in a very compact way. And it you didn't require any custom snippet of code. And now let's go ahead and refresh the checkout page. And you can see a dramatic improvement here. This looks a lot more professional. It looks a lot more clean. Now, let me just reiterate, we didn't change any settings yet in the theme to customize anything. This is just directly out of the box. You have it automatically picking up the colors, a better styling of the sidebar syllabus and the main syllabus as well looks just a lot better. But then here is where you have that dramatic, dramatic improvement. Now this is going to get more exciting when I show you Astra sites and how it will all link in together. But this is just right on the surface of the free theme, how it gets you pretty much to the finish line. So now let's take a look at that custom layouts that I was talking about. So if I go to plugins, there is a free plugin that the Astra developers recently released called Custom Template for Lifter LMS Courses. Crazy long name, that is the name. You could probably just search for Lifter LMS and it will pull right up. Now when you download and activate this, I'm gonna show you what it does for you. Now one word of caution, what I've noticed is when I first activate this, I have to reset my permalinks. So this might be a little bug, I'll talk to the developers to have them work out, but you will need to reset your permalinks. It's really simple. You would just go to settings, permalinks, scroll down and click on save changes. So what this is gonna allow you to do is, here is the default course index page and here's the buy button right here. And you look at it and it's not a compelling sales page, right? You look at this and it's just some basic way of relaying some text and then revealing your entire course syllabus. I don't know why anyone would wanna do that, but this is how all learning management systems work by default. So I contacted the Astra developers and I said, what I would like to do instead is I would like to use a page builder, create a proper sales page, and if someone is not enrolled in the course and they go and they look at this course index page, that they'll see 
that sales page instead of this. See, when you have a full control with a page builder of your sales page, you can put testimonials in there, you can make it really look beautiful, you can do anything you pretty much want to do, and that is what I wanted, and so they built it. So when you activate the plugin, you're gonna see a new option here underneath courses, and it's right here, it's called custom templates. Now this is where you would click on add new, you would create your sales page, so I've already, for the sake of time, did that, I named it Learn Lifter LMS, and I built that just using one of the templates uh, from Elementor, nothing special. And so what I did is I went ahead and built the page with one of those Elementor templates. Now, this will work with more than just Elementor. It'll work with Beaver Builder or any page builder, really. It'll work with Divi Builder, any of the various page builders. Now, when you have the Astra theme installed and activated, we have this Astra settings options right here. And this is basically to tell the theme how you want the container to work for this page. And so what I would want to do is I would want there to be no sidebar. And for the content layout, that container, I would just want it full width stretched, just like that. And so let me go ahead and click on update. And let's take a look at this just to make sure it's looking right. Oh, and then I want to remove this right here. Now, there's actually an easier way of doing this. Astra theme will know automatically when you're using Elementor if you created that Elementor page after you have installed Astra. So if Astra was installed and then I went to create a page with a page builder like Elementor or Beaver Builder, Astra would have automatically known and set these settings for me right here. Now, because I am doing this, I, I made this page before I installed Astra, I have to just go here and change these settings. Now, I'm gonna show you in the, the part of the video where I talk about how to switch to Astra, I'm gonna show you a easy way to make this change on all of your pre-built pages with the page builder. Okay, so no sidebar, and what I need to do is disable the title, and I think that's going to get me there. Let me click on update. So the first part is to go here and create your sales page for your course. And then when you go in Lifter LMS under Courses, and then you click into your course right here, it also adds this new option here that says Custom Template. And right here it just says Choose the Custom Template. We only have that one I created, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. Now what this is gonna do is it is going to show this sales page instead of the course index page if someone's on that page and they're not currently enrolled. Let me show you a quick side tip with that. If you have, so this is what it looks like. Say you have your different enrollment buttons and when you click on this button, it goes ahead and forwards you off to the sales page. What you wanna do is copy the link that is in this button and that URL is what you would use in that sales page to order the course. So you can create a pretty looking price table and this is where you would get the buttons for actually purchasing the course. You would just copy the link. And if you see right here, the way the link is formatted is essentially this is the front part of the URL and each course has a plan number and that's the only thing that's gonna change. So this link, if it was in your button in the custom designed sales page, it will take them right here so that they can purchase access to this course. Okay, so I've selected it. Let me go ahead and click on update. And then let me go here and do a refresh of the page. And you can see now what's being shown is that custom page. And I could have put that uh, link to purchase right here or someplace else. Now this is just some template. I didn't do anything special here. But you can see how now you have a way to properly sell your courses. 
Okay, so that is one of the big things that I wanted to demonstrate. I love this new feature. And when someone, well, this is another nice thing about Lifter LMS, there's this option here that says viewing as myself. I am not enrolled, but I can click right here and view it as a student. So when I click on this, this is what a person that's enrolled is going to see. Now let me uh, switch that back, of course and we will move on let me view it as myself and we will move on here okay so that is this custom layouts now this plugin will work with other themes however the theme developers would need to add compatibility for it you can test it hopefully it will work if it doesn't you might need to contact your theme developer and this is just a free gift that the Astro theme has given out to everyone for free. So now I want to introduce you to something called Astra Sites. It's a free plugin that you can download by searching for Astra Sites. And here it is right here, Astra Starter Sites. Now with this, when you have it activated, it's going to give you access to a library of completely designed websites for you. So, and there's some that are premium and there's a lot of them that are free. So once you've activated it right there, you can click right here to see library or the option is also underneath appearance and then Astra sites. Now, the first thing it's going to ask you is which is your favorite page builder. So they have these sites in a beaver builder version and an Elementor version. So you can choose the one that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Elementor. Now you're going to see some that have this tag that says premium like this. And then when you scroll down, you're also going to see plenty that don't have it. So I'll tell you how to get access to the premium versions, but for the free versions of these sites that don't have the tag, you can see them here. Now for any of these, you can go ahead and click on this option where it will say details and preview. Now what happens is you can see the full demo of this site. You can see these sites are beautifully made. And what's amazing about it is number one, everything is free. You're not paying for the theme or any of the tools to make this website. And you can click this button here to ins install the necessary plugins. And then you can click the button one more time and it will literally make your site look exactly like this. The menu, everything, the colors of the branding and all of that. It will bring all of that in for you. So I'm going to go back and choose one of these Astra sites that I think would work really good for what we're doing. Ah, this one right here is interesting, the Agency Astra site. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the website. Now, this site requires Contact Form 7. Now, it wants you to install this in advance, which is fine. If you don't want to use Contact Form 7, you can simply remove it from the site if you have a different contact form that you prefer. And some of what makes up these elements in the templates requires site origin widget bundle. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on install the plugins and you can see it's just going to install it really quickly. And then I will install the sites. And the reason I'm doing this is to, for a couple reasons, let me click on import this site and then let me click on OK. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I want you to see how here's a site with a specific brand color and all of that. I want you to see how this and how it's set in the theme is automatically pulled into Lifter LMS for you without having to touch any CSS. Okay, so now it is done. So let me go here to the sales page. Actually, so let me go here to the course index page and do a quick refresh. Now what we're gonna see is we're still gonna see that sales page that we created for the course. And you can see now we have the menu navigation that is with the demo site that we created. So I'm going to go ahead and change it from viewing as myself to view as a student. And you can see now the color scheme, what does it do? It is matching the color scheme set in the theme. And I'm going to show you that. And you can see even the get started progress indicator, it all inherits that styling just like that. 
Now let me go into the customizer to show you some of the options in the free version of Astra and how it relates to Lifter LMS. So I'll go ahead and click on customize. And so this is gonna jump me into the customizer and I will show you where it's pulling the color from. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on colors and background and then click on base colors. Now I gotta say this is one of the things I like so much about Astra is that it's very simple. Some themes offer you a thousand different options and settings and that's okay but for a lot of us it's kind of overkill. I would rather set it in one or two places and have it carry all across my website than have an option for every single thing. And now um, that's why I like the simplicity of Astra. So right here is the color that's being used for here and for here. So I can click on select color and I can easily click right there to change it. And you're gonna see not only did the button change, but it also changed all throughout Lifter LMS. That was just with one click. Let me go and quickly click on the publish button because I forgot to show you right here. So you can see it's using that default blue. Now when I refresh it, it's gonna switch to the same styling right there, which is the red that I just set. And you can see how easy it is to fully brand your learning management system. And so that is where you would set the color. Now for the link hover color, that would be the color that changes when you hover your mouse over and you have full control over that as well. Now there are some additional options that come in this free version of the theme as it relates to Lifter LMS. If I click on layouts, only if you have Lifter LMS activated, it will show this option here, which I think is fantastic. Now, the same goes for its WooCommerce integration. If you had WooCommerce installed and activated, then you would actually see this option. So when I click on Lifter LMS, the first option right here is it's gonna give us some options in regards to the course index page, and that would be how many of the courses show in the grid. Since I only have this one course, it's not gonna really be useful to show that, but then you also have mobile responsive options. So if you're going to have a website with multiple courses, on your course index page it will show a grid of all of your courses and this is going to give you the options for the grid. You can actually see that on my website. Um, let's see here. Let me... Let me go here and show you my website and my course grid. Now I've actually built mine with a page builder, uh, but this is your course grid right here. But like I said, mine is built with a page builder. Okay, so let's go back and look at some of the other options. So for right here where it says container, you also have these options right here to change the container for Lifter LMS content. So by default, it's showing full width contained. Now you can change this to any of these options. So here is what it would look like if it was boxed. So what you can see is now it's in the box and this is all, your widgets are here in a box as well. And that would be boxed. Now let me also show you back here where the sidebar options are. There's also additional options here. So for Lifter LMS courses or lessons, I can remove the sidebar and just choose no sidebar. And you're gonna see now everything is just in this one container box. I'm gonna show you my learning management system implementation of this in a bit. And you're gonna see that this is how, this is the format that I have chosen to go after. So let me just move it back. And for Lifter LMS right here, this is for the course index page where it shows all of your courses. And this would by default have it not show. Now right here we have the sidebar width so for, for right now it's 30%, I can increase or decrease that however I wanted it. Now let's go back and take a look again at the container options and just see what they look like. So here is the content boxed. So what this does is it puts the content only in a box and then the sidebars themselves or the sidebar widgets are not in those same boxes. 
that's another option. And then we have this full width stretched. And what this does, and it's gonna be kind of hard to demonstrate in the video, but you can see it puts, it basically stretches the content from the far left to the far right of the page, just like this, okay? And let me go back to how we had it, which was full width contained. Now, also what I didn't demonstrate is you can also move the sidebar off to the left instead of having it on the right, just for lifter LMS content. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this and get out of here. And that pretty much wraps up the integration with the free Astra theme and how amazingly simple that was. Now, some of the exciting news is you saw when I showed you the Astra sites, let me see, let me get back to it right here. So you had all these Astra sites. Well, Astra is in the process of putting together a free Astra site for courses like this. And they're also putting together a premium one. Now, I don't have access to them. They're being developed, but I do have access to what they're gonna look like. And I can give you a sneak preview. Now, of course, this is all subject to change. So right here is going to be the premium Astra site. And you can see it's using a transparent header. You can see it's absolutely beautiful. And right here is where you can visually, without revealing your course syllabus, you can show the different modules of content in your course. And here's like a sales video. You can see it just looks perfect. And this is the benefit here of having this beautiful way of displaying your pricing plans testimonials and whatnot. So this right here is going to be one of the premium Astra sites. And here's the homepage of the free one. So you can see it has this look and feel that's perfect for an individual coach or expert in a particular area. Now you're going to easily be able to change the color. So it might look a little on the feminine side. Well, no, I mean, this color could go both ways but you can see uh, it just already looks beautiful. And this is gonna be free. So this should come out within the next week or two. And actually, just to give you a little inside information, this is what I'm gonna base my 2018 version of how to create an online course. It's gonna be based on Astra, this Astra site, Lifter LMS, and it's gonna be insanely simple and easy to do. And it's gonna help a lot of people actually create their online course. Now let me go back to the course syllabus here. So there are still some things you can do to enhance the look and feel based upon adding a little bit of custom CSS. Now I'm gonna be providing all that custom CSS as well in that video that I'll be releasing on how to create an online course. But I wanted to show you what I've personally accomplished. So right here is one of my courses. Now I've chosen to go for this boxed layout. You can see, you can kind of barely see it right there. And I have a large image. And now this is what it looks like when someone's enrolled. And you can see I've changed the colors of the background of the syllabus, the font I made white, and I made it my brand color. And then I changed the color of each of the lessons in the background to match the color that I wanted to. I was trying to get away from all those browns that you get with Lifter LMS. So you can see right here, we have these browns as the background here and the background there. And then you have this hover color, which is kind of a different brown or a gray, whatever it is. And so I just wanted to make this all kind of look different and match my brand and my brand colors. I'm gonna share all the CSS that I used for that. Now there's actually one page I woefully forgot to show you that the free version, I didn't actually demonstrate it in the other themes. I should have, I kind of goofed there. And that is your members dashboard. And this is where your members are gonna go in order to access their activity in your learning management system. And so here's what the members dashboard improvements are. You can see the Astra theme adds these really cool little icons next to the various areas and your styling carries over in there. So you can see right here, we still have the same 
button styling like that. I haven't enrolled in any of the courses or anything like that, or they would show here as well. That feature in the customizer where you chose how many courses would show in the course grid also carries over to here. Okay, so now that I've gone over all of this, the question is, if you followed the 2016 or 2017 version of my online course series, is how the heck do you switch themes to Astra? And it's actually very, very simple. Traditionally, the biggest challenge when switching from one theme to another, if you've been using a page builder, is the, the new theme knowing that the particular page you created was built with a page builder and to make adjustments like hide the page title, make it full width and stuff like that. And Astra saw this as a potential challenge for people to switch to Astra. So what they did was they created a plugin named Switch to Astra. Astra. Let me show you. I already have installed it here and it's just in the WordPress directory. You can type here. Uh, you can go to uh, add new and, and do a search for switch to Astra and I have it installed right here. Switch to Astra. So essentially what this will do is you would uh, on your website you would install the Astra theme and you would probably look at all your pages of content and it's probably going to be not looking how you want it, the full width, the title removed and all of that. And here's how you fix that. You just download, install, activate this plugin. And all you have to do is click this button right here that says go full width. Now it's always a good idea to have a backup of your website. I have videos on using updrafts for that. It's always a good idea. So you just go ahead and click this button, go full width, go ahead, click on OK, and it's gonna automatically adjust all of your content that you made with the page builder. It's gonna go ahead and adjust it so that it will carry over that beautiful page builder layout into Astra. Now once you have gone through this process, you can just go ahead and deactivate activate the plugin and then you can delete the plugin. There's no need to keep it installed on your website. So this will make your homepage look exactly right. Now obviously there are some additional things you're going to need to go through and that is to reassign your menu in the customizer but that's really simple. Re put in your logo. It's already obviously been uploaded to WordPress. You just need to select it and that's one of the things I like the most about Astra's, it's very simple. So you would go to site identity, you could put your logo, but it also has a feature to put a retina logo. This would be essentially double the size of your normal logo. And it even has this way here of adjusting the width. So essentially you can adjust the size of your logo to make it look exactly how you want it to look. And then you can put your favicon here, all of that good stuff. As far as assigning the the menus, all you would do is go to menus and then you would see a list of your menus right here on your site. You would click on a particular menu and then you can assign it to your primary or your footer menu. You have those options right there. Then of course you'd want to go right here to colors and set your base colors, your footer widget colors, your footer bar. You have full control over all of that and make your topography modifications. Now if it's content made in a page builder, don't even worry about that. Your page builder probably already has that all set. So it doesn't really take but maybe 10 or 15 minutes to make the switch from a different theme. So now is where it actually gets really exciting. So not only did you just get all this for free, they also have a pro add-on that adds some uh, it adds a ton of new features, of course, to what you can do with the Astro theme, but it also adds some new integrations and enhanced integrations with Lifter LMS. So here is a snapshot of them all. So I'll just go through the list of these pro options. Now, if you're interested in this, I do have a specific link for it. You would go to wpcrafter.com slash Astra. I also have a bonus 
program in, for it. So if you go to that link, wpcrafter.com slash Astra, it'll show you all of the bonus options I have available if you were to purchase Astra. These are just things I give you for free if you purchase it through the link on my website. So let's look at the, the first version of the additional pro integration. And I need to go through this so I make sure I don't miss anything. I think this actually has the pro and the free integration uh, features in it. So here's that course grid I was talking to you about. This was in the free version where you can change the amount of columns uh, in this grid here. But what's really amazing is you also have control over smaller devices. This is something you didn't get by default. The colors that you set in the customizer already pull in automatically to lifter LMS elements. That's in the free version of Astra. Here's another example. This one has the multiple instructors and you can just see the colors just all carry in. Also the button settings. There is actually specific button settings in Astra I didn't show you and that is where these button settings can be changed as well. Down here we have Google font options so you can see how, and I tell you man, all of this had to be custom code. All of it was custom CSS in any other theme except Astra. And so you can customize the fonts right here. Here's where it talks about the dedicated container options, the dedicated sidebar options, the checkout designs right here. Now this is the checkout design that comes in the free version, but check this out. When you scroll down here in the pro add-on, there's an additional distraction free checkout. This is basically conversion booster. If someone goes to your checkout page, it removes all of the options. All they're seeing is the checkout page in your logo so they can stay focused on what you want them to be focused on, which is checking out and purchasing your course. This is part of the pro add-on. Here's another pro add-on. It will show the, it'll, it'll display the Gravatar image of the student in the top right corner. I really like this feature right here. Actually, you can see it on my site. So here I am, you can see there it is a picture of me on the top right. When you click on it, it takes you straight on over to the members dashboard. So this is another pro feature that we can enable or disable in the customizer. And I'm gonna actually show you all this. Uh, you have the vertical tab option. This is in the customizer, uh, in the pro version only. You can see you'll have the options there. Now I also have that enabled on my site. You can see it in action. So when someone clicks on members dashboard, you can see here are the vertical options instead of the horizontal options. It's just something a little different. I like it. I enabled that on my site and this is only in the pro version. And the horizontal tabs that is in the free version right there. We already looked at the course page customizations, the syllabus enhancements. And let's see, there's one more thing I want to show you and that is right here. It's the distraction free learning environment. So with this enabled, it removes all of what you would see here in the header, all those menu items. And I actually have that enabled here. It is distraction free. So if I jump into one of the courses, you can see it removes any distractions that there would be on my website and it just it, it, it eliminates all of the menus and everything and it just shows the course content. I really like that feature. I enabled it. That's only in the pro version right there. Oh, here it is talking about it. Distraction free. So let me show you how to add that to your site. So what I need to do is go to my plugins, Astra Pro, activate it. And then what I'm gonna do is go to Appearance and then Astra, and then right here where it says Add-ons. Now, I didn't go over all of the awesome things that Astra Pro adds. So they add custom layouts. This is pretty amazing feature right here. Uh, different blog grid, additional colors and background options, additional footer widget options, header sections, lifter LMS, this is what I need to activate. Page headers, you can also do transparent headers like that and have it dynamically show. 
site layout, sticky header, spacing, that is very cool. The scroll to top, transparent header, topography options, and a special WooCommerce integration. So I'm going to just go ahead and why not just activate them all. I'm going to click right here to activate all options. And you can see everything is now activated. So now what I can do right here is I can go into the customizer and we can take a look at some of these new options and how easy it is to enable these options. Okay, you can see by default, it enabled the distraction-free learning. I love this feature, but you can turn it on or off and you have lots of options for that. I believe that's gonna be under layouts and then header. And let's see, I think it would be primary header. I'm going off of memory on all of this now. And I think I went to the wrong spot. That's okay. Let me go back. I know where it is now. It's under layout and then lifter LMS. And now we have general lifter LMS customization options and ones specific to courses and lessons. Let's first take a look at the general options. So before we just had the column option there, but now we have the distraction free checkout and we have that option for the members dashboard to show the tabs vertically or not. So I'm going to go ahead and enable both of these just like that. Actually, let's save this and then demonstrate them real quick. So right here is my checkout. Now when I refresh the page, it's gonna go distraction free. And there it is, it's distraction free. This is a much better way for you to go by a mile for if you're selling courses. Let me go to that, actually I think I have it up right here. Okay, so let me refresh this and you're gonna see it's gonna be a lot tighter and cleaner. You saw how now it's very tight and very clean. I really like this layout right here. Okay, so let's go back in here and let's take a look at some of the course and lesson options that were not there before. So here's the tab to enable the distraction free learning. If you didn't want that, you can just simply uncheck it and it will make it the way that it was, just like this. But I like that. It gives your website a more dynamic feel. And then there are, and this is the student view and the visitor view. Actually, let's just go down to visitor view. Now, if you didn't want to use that custom sales page layouts plugin that I talked about earlier in the video, and you just like the default one, well, this gives you options of what shows here. So I can choose to enable or disable the featured image, the course description, the course meta information, that's this right here, the instructor detail right here in the syllabus. I can just with one click remove these elements so if I didn't like this meta right here I can just uncheck there and it's just gonna go poof it's gonna be gone well I don't know why it didn't disappear but I might I think I know why um, and then here's for the instructor details I think it's because in the customizer it didn't dynamically change it the way it looked so I can demonstrate this in a moment and you can enable or disable the syllabus and I'll show you that it actually did do that but it just doesn't reflect in the customizer let me go here and then I'll show you or go through the student view options and I'll show you uh, how this actually did work okay so we got that distraction free learning the same options of the featured image course description course meta detail and progress indicator I wonder if it's actually showing me as an able as actually enrolled in the course. So if I go here, it will get rid of that. And that's what the problem was actually. So when you're with Lifter LMS, if you're in the customizer, it's showing you the view as someone actually enrolled. It doesn't show you the dynamic view of someone not enrolled. And that's why when I unchecked these, you didn't see it disappear here. That makes sense. So let's get rid of the instructor detail. And that's actually good if there's multiple instructors. You see how it's already getting a lot cleaner here uh, just with that. And I really love how they made this uh, progress bar. So anyways, you have this and you know, it just couldn't be easier, these options here. Now let me show you how I did my course layout. I went to the container options and for Lifter LMS, I made it boxed. And then I got rid of the sidebar like this. I went to sidebar and for the lifter LMS course lesson, I went no sidebar like this. 
And then it just shows everything in this very clean, distraction-free environment. The only difference between this and what I did is I added that little bit of custom CSS to change some of these colors, and I'm gonna give you that custom CSS. But you can see how beautiful this ended up turning out. I mean, it couldn't have been any easier. And this is why I've decided for the 2018 version of my How to Create an Online Course to reduce all the friction just using Astra is going to make it so much easier for people to actually get their course up and running, get the tech to move out of the way. So to get to the Astra page, visit wpcrafter.com slash Astra. It's going to take you to a page on my website where I go over some bonuses that I have if you were to purchase Astra, if you did want that. This is only if you wanted the Pro features, but it adds so much more than just the WooCommerce features. Now, here is their website. You can see the demos here. Let's take a look at the pricing of Astra. Now, let's scroll down. Now, for a limited time, they also have lifetime licenses available. So, if you're the type of person that knows when you buy something, you're going to want to keep it and you want to save some money in the long run, you can purchase a lifetime license. So, let's just quickly glance at the pricing. So the base theme is free. I showed you everything it does. The Astra Pro right now is $59 per year and there is a 20% renewal discount and that's so you can get updates and support after that first year. Now if you wanted the premium Astra sites, you're gonna want the agency bundle and it's a little bit more expensive, but it comes with all of those premium Astra sites. And that's not all, it comes with a suite of additional plugins that Brainstorm Force or the developer of Astra makes. It's going to come with the pro add-on, the premium sites that I showed you, Convert Pro. So that's kind of like an opt-in monster for generating leads and capturing leads on your website. It's very powerful. I do have a review video. Video, only one schema pro that's amazing I use that on my website ultimate add-ons for beaver builder but they're also coming out with the same version of that but for Elementor it's going to include that an amazing portfolio plugin I think that's pretty amazing and any future plugins that they make and and you get of course access to all the pro features here's the lifetime pricing right now Astro Pro 249 the agency bundle 699 you buy it once you don't have to renew anything in the future now I will say this price of 59 I think is going to be the price for a while but I do know that these prices are going up as they keep enhancing the theme and the agency bundle, they will be increasing the prices. And I know for a fact this agency bundle, the lifetime price of $6.99, that will be going away in 2018 for sure. I think in the earlier part of 2018 as well. And I'm not sure about the theme itself, that might go away as well. But you can see it is a bargain for just the theme at $59. It is a huge bargain considering all the time and aggravation that you don't even have to go through because they made this custom integration. They have integrations coming to other learning management systems, other event plugins, uh, WooCommerce, they just launched their integration with that. It's pretty amazing. I have a video coming out on that. So anyways, I don't wanna make this video any longer than it needs to be. I'm wondering what you think. How do you think uh, the Astra theme is going to make creating an online course easier for you? And is there any feature that you don't see that it has has that if it did have it would get you over the edge to actually switch to using Astra those are my questions for you in a week's time or so I'll have a full tutorial from beginning to end on how to make a beautiful online course website using the free version of Astra and Lifter LMS and I will also go through the design everything it's going to be an impactful video and I'll also be sharing all of the custom CSS that I have that will allow you to change those little bits of the customizer I'm sorry of the syllabus to get rid of those browns and grays so that's all that I have for you in this video thanks for watching if you enjoyed it go ahead and give me a thumbs up and other than that I'll see you in the next video